now. Does it feel that way to you? And, and how excited are you for you? what will be your final season here? Um, I mean, it, it always flies by. So I don't mm -hmm. I've been here too long. Uh, but obviously, I'm enjoying it. And that's why I decided to use you know, the, the last year I had. Uh, it's obviously a great place, great community, mm -hmm. uh, great coaching staff that's, you know, really helped me develop. And then um, with everyone up coming back and all the return or uh, new guys, mm -hmm. um, you know, we feel like we're able to do some special teams. It could be, you know, possibly the best team we've had since we've been here. So, uh, you know, all that stuff, you know, had a big influence on why I want to come back, want to win games and, you know, some unfinished business. So. So this is definitely my best opportunity to do that. In that period of time where you were testing the waters, what were some of the assessments that you got back about your game? Um, so a lot, a lot of them said they love my game. Uh, they definitely said I have the ability to play at that level, uh, just you know with what I bring, toughness, IQ, uh, versatility. Um, but you know, big things they want to see me improve is my three-point percentage. You know, um, going from you know 33 to you know minimum 38 uh, percent. You know, and a lot of them understood. You know, with the defense that I see and you know, I don't get a lot of open shots um, but you know I feel like like I said with the guys who we have put a little more off the ball and be able to play make for me so you know I don't have to create my own shots all the time so things like that I think will help uh, and then obviously you know just staying shot ready and working on you know little you know touch-ups all off season um, are going to help and then if they want to see me get you know quicker just to guard you know guys at the next level um, but all the feedback was good positive uh, I think just showing it for a year now and then Obviously, winning more games is going to help a ton. Jared Lucas obviously came into this school with quite a reputation as a scorer, given what he did down in the CIF. I mean, has that lived up to the billing so far from what you've seen out of him? Granted, it's a very different level, D1 mm -hmm. to high school, but what has he shown you on that end? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, he's shown that he can obviously, you know, shoot the heck out of the ball. Uh, you know, he comes in and can be instant offense, you know, hit a bunch of, you know, corner threes, pull up threes, uh, gets it off quick. Uh, so, you know, it's going to be someone that's going to help someone like Ian and I, where we're creating off the dribble, trying to get to the hoop, and we have a shooter out there It's going to knock down shots. You know, they're not going to be able to sag in so much on us. So it's going to clear it up for us, and then, you know, he hits a couple, and then it's going to get us open list as well. Um, so he's, he's shown that he plays hard. Uh, you know, he, he's a good listener. He's obviously his coach uh, was his father, and so, you know, he's got a good IQ as well. Um, but, yeah, he can shoot, you know, the ball extremely well. So that's, you know, definitely what he's been putting on the display. The fact that uh, the rebounding for bigs could be a lot stronger this year maybe takes pressure off of you to hit the board so much and maybe be able to create like you're talking about? Yeah, I, I think a lot of it goes hand in hand. Um, you know, guys like Kyler, you know, we, we've been you know, trying to get into press glass more, uh, Sean Miller more, someone who's extremely athletic and can go to the offensive glass as well. Um, Roman Silva, another big body, De'Aaron Tuckin, Tucker, sorry, who's uh, been a great offensive rebounder too, but, you know, defense just puts a body on somebody. So, um, you know, I still want to crash, but it's, you know, it's definitely going to take some pressure off my shoulders and, you know, allow me to rest a little bit. Um, so, you know, where I feel like I don't have to do as much because of these other guys that are going to be physical. Um, but you know, if I have to, you know, it's not a problem with me. But, you know, it's definitely going to give me more rest, not having to, you know, go for, you know, so many rebounds. But How important would it be for you to, to go out with a Pac-12 championship? That would be huge. Um, you know, all that stuff's kind of why, you know, I came back. Um, like I said, I think this is our best chance um, with a group of guys to do something like that. Uh, a lot of depth, a lot of talent. We can give teams a bunch of different looks. Um, and a lot more buy-in, you know, with this group. You know, people are engaged, uh, very competitive. Uh, they want to play defense on 94 feet. And so I think, you know, that's something we're going to kind of get back to our first couple years here. We've been great defensively and then kind of shot away from it. So I feel like, um, you know, we're going to be – you know, it's uh, ferocious on the defensive end. Um, and, you know, things like, like I said, we just play so hard. Uh, we're definitely going to give ourselves a great chance to do something like that. Kyler, looked, uh, you know, he came on last year, one of the leaders in the country in blocks. He looks like he's moved his game out a little bit, a little more offensively. Is he going to be yeah. more of a scorer for you this year? Uh, I, I think so. Um, you know, he had, he, again, someone had a great spring and summer. Mm -hmm. uh, being a lot more aggressive with his moves. You know, mm -hmm. I think a lot of times, Third games last year, he might have faded away or not got, gone up as strong. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, as of lately, he's been trying to go through people's chests and, you know, try mm -hmm. to get to the hoop and dunk everything. So he's been a monster. Um, and he's playing with a lot more confidence. Mm -hmm. You know, I think just that year under his belt, uh, he knows what his capabilities are now. And, you know, he's shooting it from, you know, 15 feet with confidence. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, he can even stretch it out to three if, right. you know, he's feeling it or whatnot. You know, we'll try to keep him in the post for now. But, 
you know, I think we wouldn't be mad if he took one. Um, as long so, as he makes it. Yeah, p playing with more confidence, mm -hmm. uh, more urgency, more aggression. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, all that's just going to help us tremendously. And you mentioned what, what they might be looking at for you from the next level. Could you be two, a two or a three? I think so. Yeah. Um, you know, I really think I could be anyone that could play maybe a two through four. Uh, I'll be an undersized four, but I think just with my toughness mm -hmm. and the grit I play with, you know, I could, I could be thrown in there. Uh, but I think more naturally it would probably be a two and a three um, just due to, you know, my mm -hmm. size, uh, you mm -hmm. know, not being, you know, six nine, six ten, or mm -hmm. whatever. Um, but, yeah, I think that's why, you know, they want to see me guard, mm -hmm. you know, quick guys get quicker. Um, so I think probably two, three primarily. Mm -hmm.